Hey guys, I'm going to go back to another brand new video. We're back today. Today we're we'll playing the Modern Warfare beta. I'm discussing whether we think, uh, whether I think it's good, bad, what I like, bad, what I don't like personally. You know, what I think could be better and improved. And I want to think of it so far. So without further ado, let's hop straight into it. Alright, so we're going to be playing some headquarters here. Um, and so far, man, I, I've, I've been enjoying the beta. I'd probably give it about maybe a 7, 7.5 out of 10. I think things could be better. I think things could be worse. This I'm uh, playing on day two of the beta. This is, I think, one of the new maps that they added um, today. Uh, they just added it. Um, so I'm trying this one out for the first time, I believe. But overall, uh, it's better than I thought it was going to be. I'm normally actually not a huge fan of betas because, like, you know, nothing transfer over, nothing counts or anything. So it kind of just feels like we're playing like private match almost. Well, you know, obviously you're not, but. Max rank in the beta uh, is level 10, uh, which is pretty low. Uh, normally they do it around 25 or 30, um, but I'm hoping they uh, extend it, uh, make it, maybe make it that level, you know, over the course of the next weekend or two. Um, so that way we can, you know, get a lot of unlocks and stuff like that, um, which we don't have currently, but you can get a lot of unlocks, uh, unlocks um, through uh, weapons like my m4 is maxed at level 30 so i don't know if that's gonna be the max in the full game or not but as for the as for the beta um, you do get a lot of gun attachments that you can choose from um, which is great because there's a lot of cus customization with um, the guns in this game i actually ran into one of the pro players uh, for united i actually got and play a couple matches against clayster uh, he's a really cool guy i got to meet him at an event one time um, and it's definitely quite the experience uh, playing against the pro, uh, playing against Clayster because when it was day one of the beta, um, everyone that's on is only people that have pre-ordered the game, and it was the first day, so you ran into a lot of streamers and a lot of pro players, stuff like that. Um, but it was it was a lot of fun. I got to play a couple games against him, and uh, uh, I tweeted at him saying I was in his game one night. He actually gave me a reply and everything, so you know, Clayster's a really cool guy. Uh, that that was a really cool experience. Um, Something I'll probably never forget because I've never actually gotten in a lobby with a pro player I believe before, um, so that was that was actually a lot of fun. Um, overall, in the beta, a lot of people are talking about uh, like the two biggest things people seem to be talking about is the time to kill uh, and uh, the mini map. At least that's at least from what I'm seeing um, because the time to kill, as you can see right there, seems to be pretty pretty fast. It almost feels like some people say like hardcore, where like you don't it's it you know it feels like you die in one bullet or one or two bullets really quickly which i i get a lot of people may not like but at the same time i i kind of like it because it really feels like you can go on like really nice kill streaks and you can really shred through people but then also people and also the same way when you're when you're getting killed you know when, when, when you're getting killed over and over and over again it feels like you can go on massive death streaks as well so I see both sides, um, but you know, it's up to them whether they want to fix it or not. Same thing goes with the, uh, or change it, I say maybe not fix, but change it. Same thing goes with the mini map, whether they want to add it back or not. Um, it'd be a big change though, because they'd have to get rid of uh, a kill streak in order to add the mini map back, because uh, the two kill streak is um, you get a personal radar, you get your mini map back, um, which, you know, is really nice. I use it all the time. Um, but you know, at the same time, like you would have to do a lot in order to do that. So you'd have to take out the kill streak and then add it back. So that'd be a really big change. I totally think they can do it, um, but I don't think it'll be likely. We did, in fact, earn ourselves a chopper gunner though. So I think we should go ahead and call that in. Let's see what this is like. I've gotten a couple chopper gunners before, um, but I've never used one on this map. So let's go ahead and give it a try. We're currently at 20 kills. The chopper gun seems to be a lot of fun. I also haven't gotten my first nuke yet. I don't know if I'll get it in the beta because a lot of people in this are really good. Um, so I don't think I'll probably get one in the beta, but if I do, I'll definitely make a video on it. Um, but I don't think I'll get one, but you know, you never know. So, oh my God, is that a five piece? You know, I'll try I think they're shooting me down. They're shooting me down. Stop, stop, stop. It hurts. Oh, how are we doing? Oh. Oh. Am I out of rockets? Die. There we go. Oh, he was watching me. 
if you guys have been playing the beta make sure you guys let me know what you've been liking what you haven't been liking one thing that has been a little weird uh, has been spawns but typically spawns are pretty weird in betas you know it's the first time letting a, the majority of people play it so you know they're going to experience weird things when it comes to spawns which i totally get um another thing they were talking about is that the supply drop that actually got leaked uh, there's a photo of someone act, uh, accidentally getting a a picture of a supply drop for a level up reward um so you know that's definitely something to talk about but you know um i'm not surprised to be honest um call of duty has had supply drops ever since advanced warfare and they make so much money off of it like i don't expect that to change i i mean i assumed coming into this game that there would be supply drops um i just hope for supply drops that they don't like ruin it too much you know that they don't go over the top i hope they just you know hopefully they don't add too many weapons and whatnot i just don't want it to be i just don't want it to feel pay to win i hope we can earn them at a reasonable rate and you know we don't have to we don't have to have like supply drop weapons in order to in order to do well you know i hope they're fair and balanced I feel like all the guns are pretty good but you know i feel like there is a couple guns that are better than others um i guess all guns feel good because of the time to kill but um the m4 a1 is really good the famas is really good i've heard good thing about the mp5 i've used that quite a bit i don't know if you can wallbang or not but i haven't heard too many good things about the uh oh you're dead wait what about the uh, ak i've seen people use it i'm not really a big fan of it at the moment but you know people can use whatever they want and i feel like can succeed at least with the guns I have, i've seen in the beta because a lot of them seem pretty good That's gonna be the game. 48 kills. This is on level 12. That's a visual glitch, but 48 kills. My next closest is at 28, so I definitely uh, carried that game. I had quite uh, quite the game there. I had a lot of three pieces and whatnot. Overall KD 48 and 16, so a hot three KD. We definitely turned up that game. Definitely the best on the team. I also really like the the kill streaks that they have in here. We don't have access to all of them, but I, I think these kill streaks have a lot of potential along with the nuke. So. I think so far they're doing this game right. I'm really happy with it. Some of these look really good too, the field upgrades, and obviously a lot of customization with the classes and whatnot. Um, but that's my personal thought on the beta. Let me know what you guys think if you guys have tried it out. It will be open beta for you guys to just free to download later this weekend and next weekend. Um, thank you to anyone that's still using the hashtag. Anything from Mama, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.